morning guys I woke up early this morning and I washed all of Scout's cloth diapers so here's the pile and we are gonna try to put one on her I'm still a little bit nervous that she's kind of small for them but I think cloth diapers just always sort of look big you see she's pretending she's asleep you know what I'm gonna miss this blue line that tells you if it's wet or <laughs> You know what I'm going to miss? Being able to throw those away and not have to deal with them. You know what the earth is not going to miss? Trash. Hi! Do you want a cloth diaper on? Uh oh, is that a poop face? Is that a poop face? Okay. So I'll just show. So this has, this diaper has two flaps that are sewn in super easy you just flap them like that okay <laughs> let's see wow you got a big old diaper on now <laughs> pants are not gonna work if you poop in this diaper the second i put it on you i'll be so mad look at her and her bum genius but you know what i'm worried about now is her onesies, onesies. fitting yeah because this is a pretty bulky let's see let's see what you look like with the big bum oh my gosh that looks ridiculous <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> she looks oddly proportioned oh olive is interested look at olive olive what's going on you're in a cloth diaper! She's probably gonna poop in this the second it, we put it on. Yeah. Alright, well, I gotta go to work. Alright, Josh is going to I'll see work. You guys later. He's closing tonight, so he doesn't get back until like 9 30. This looks so funny. <laughs> Alright, so this is day one of right, big baby. fat cloth diapers. <laughs> wake up, wake up. It's time for you to eat, baby girl. <laughs> that face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I need to wake Scout up so she can eat. But I wanted to update you guys on her whole like constipation, formula, whatever issue. So basically uh, when we were in the hospital the formula that they gave her was Similac so we just stayed with Similac we tried the regular Similac we tried the sensitive Similac nothing was working and this poor girl she has just been having a very hard time and it was killing me so yesterday we ran to Costco and we decided to switch to Infamil so she has been on this for about 24 hours now and I'm not ready to say yes everything is perfect now but in just 24 hours of her being on this I feel like I can see a difference. She seems happier, she seems like she's not in pain, um, she has been spitting up less, she's been crying less, she's been sleeping better. We'll see. I mean I know I need to give it a few days. But last night was so good. You don't understand, I have been sleeping on the couch every single night for probably the past three or four nights. Like, never sleeping in my bed. Last night, we slept in our bed the whole night. So that was pretty awesome. I feel like she slept so much better. And I'm sure part of that is because we were at the mall all day and she was awake a lot. So I want to try to keep her awake today, but I really think that her being more comfortable has something to do with it too. So that's the scoop. All right, I just changed this girly's diaper. And I wanted to show you guys, I have just this regular like trash can pail. It has a lid, but it's not on there now. Um, and then this is a special liner. I forget the brand, but it's a special liner for cloth diapers. 
so basically I'm just I'm gonna open the flaps just drop it in look guys <laughs> I don't know why I have never used this swaddle me blanket I forgot we had it I will definitely be using this every night huh you like being swaddled I like this blanket because it feels really secure. Like when I just swaddle her in a regular blanket, she can wiggle her way out and she gets her hands out and that's when she wakes up and starts crying. But in this thing, it's like Velcroed really good and tight. I don't think she could get her hands out of there. Oh, but you don't wanna be swaddled right now. I'm sorry. Scout is being kind of fussy right now so this is my second time putting her in the ergo today and the first time I did she fell asleep so I'm hoping that that's what will happen this time huh do you like the ergo good evening everybody I am home Baby's going crazy here because she's losing her password. Oh. Here, I'll put her in the ergo. Okay. Let's get her in the ergo. Okay, we were about to put her in the ergo, but I checked her diaper and this is the first poopy cloth diaper. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Gotta change right, that bye. bum. She's got a clean bum. <laughs> I swear she gets the hiccups like 20 times a day. All right. Okay. So I just hold her like this. are still too little to like stick out of the sides so she just like bends her knees and kind of and then I just like dance around like this babe now are you all nice and cozy <laughs> all right you guys sorry that we kept you hanging yesterday but we are officially ready to make our announcement Right, I'm gonna guys. let Josh do it. <laughs> I'm gonna break it out. The official decision is that Kaylee, Scout, Olive, and I are going to be moving back to California. So that's what? the big thing. What? What? What's going on? I thought this was your dream. Are you losing your dream? No. Our dream has like changed. I don't wanna say that and this is not an easy decision in any sense. I, I've thought about it so much that now I'm like, oh yeah, we're moving to LA. Oh, we're moving to LA. <laughs> um, and that's just like, oh, it's so simple. Like, you know, it's this is not like a quick overnight decision that we've made. Um, our dreams have kind of morphed, I want to say, or like kind of transitioned. And what we want in life is constantly changing and moving. And we're kind of adapting with that. So number one, let me just get it out there. Uh, I thought that Hawaii was your dream. Yes. And guess what? We accomplished that. And I, ca I will, cannot say how much I'm like thankful and glad that we moved here. Like moving here, I have no regrets. I love it here. Um, moving here has taught Kaylee and I, I think something that we never would have learned anywhere else. Don't you think? Yeah. Like um, it really showed us what we want in life, um, what we're like kind of striving after. Um, it got us on our own. I mean, before we lived with our parents, 
Um, so it was our first real big adventure. Moving here taught us that we can literally do anything we put our mind to. I would totally back that up and say that that's the whole thing. Um, reason why we would be moving to LA. After Scout was born, we, um, Kaylee is obviously watching after Scout and really it comes down to me is going to be like the main provider. I'm going to have the career, I'm going to be doing something and I really had to sit down and everybody that knows me knows that this is a crazy cycle that's been happening for years on like what I want to do, what I'm getting into. I've tried a bunch of things figuring out what I want to do with my life and my next dream is to uh, go into the career that I have always dreamed of going into, I want to say, or always thought that I really wanted to and kind of thought it irrational or kind of pushed it off or whatever. We've lived in Northern California, Southern California. We lived in San Diego and then near like Sacramento, Napa area. Um, LA is kind of a central place where we're close to family, uh, but we're kind of still on our own. You know, we want Scout to be around family, and the reality is here it's just not going to happen. I mean they're going to visit and they have visit, visited but it's just not going to happen um, on the level that we want her to be involved with our families. So that's another big reason. And I don't want anybody to think that we're moving back just because our families want us to. Like this is definitely something that we are choosing to do because we want to do it. Um, I guess I just don't want you guys to feel like we're giving something up. Like. We're really excited for this next chapter. Right. Like, just as excited about this as we were to even move here. So, it, this is a good thing. This is right, like an right. exciting thing. And honestly, there's no, there's nothing here pushing us away. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is literally a decision for us to pick up and move and move on. We've almost, by the time we get our move um, ready, we will have almost been here for two years. And it's crazy. I mean, the people that we've met, I mean, the people, let alone like the people that we've met and I've worked with, I know that I will be friends with forever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether that's Facebook, long distance, like, I, it's just like crazy to think the people that we've met here, it's just been really cool. You know, and it's, it's sad to say goodbye to those people. You know, moving here, we learned a lot of things we loved about being home, a lot of things we hated about being home. And when I say home, I mean California. Um, and really like define what, how we want to live, what we want in life. If you guys have questions, definitely, I definitely want to answer them. Um, and I, it's hard because we were such, I feel like uh, the way that most people have found us is through moving to Hawaii. So most people that follow us are like people that are looking to move to Hawaii. I don't want you to feel like we're we're not gonna focus on that anymore. Like, that that was a huge part of our lives, and I still would love to give advice about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, I don't want you to feel like, oh, okay, they moved, like, never mind, they won't answer my questions about living in Hawaii or something like that. You know, like, definitely, I'm totally willing to answer questions. I mean, for us, it's been more of like, what are we representing? And, it was originally to do what we loved and to follow a dream and this idea that we made this dream into a goal and then we put into practice um, our different plans to get here and we got here. And I don't want you guys to think that all we are is like just the move to Hawaii and we made like Hawaii was the goal or the just the dream. Like I want to help everybody accomplish dreams no matter what it is. You know what I'm saying? And this next phase is a huge dream for me. And I'm, we're going kind of out on a limb, and I'm really trying to get into an industry that I've never done before, and I or, or never, I don't have experience in professionally, um, but that I'm very passionate about. I really want to get into um, digital entertainment industry or like the gaming industry. Most of you have seen like my supercomputer over here, um, and I haven't really gone into that because mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of people are interested in what I do on my computer. Um, but I'm really into a whole different thing of games and I really want to be a part of that industry and that's really what I'm passionate about and it's always been like oh that's my hobby that's my passionate hobby and then oh I have to find a job and now I'm like you know what we can do whatever we want and I now I'm gonna learn how to you know take my hobby my passion and have you know needing to be paid so that we can eat and try to mesh those together to create my new dream of working in the gaming industry which is gonna be 
like I almost want to start a whole nother like section of channel you know so that you can see the process that I'm gonna go through and trying to find a job learn what I need to learn and build my way up so that is going to be um, the next adventure in our lives and I'm, I'm like really excited for it sorry we're cooking dinner at nine o'clock at night I mean ten dinner breakfast ten o'clock at night <laughs> it's gonna be a crazy adventure and it's gonna be just as much risk involved moving back than it was moving here and I think it's gonna be a super fun adventure and um, I hope that you guys understand that and join us you know what I'm saying like I hope that us moving away from Hawaii isn't like your only uh, connection with us and that we lose you right off the bat on that aspect I hope we have your guys support we definitely are excited about this um, if you have questions let us know leave them in the comments below and we'll try to answer them as best we can and uh, I mean really moving out of Hawaii is like moving here so you guys are gonna see it firsthand again um, on how we do everything and what it's like to literally pick up everything and go off on another adventure. So that should be pretty interesting because now we have a baby. And that means Ollie Poo is going to have to go on another plane flight. Right. Which is... It's like, I'm ner I'm not, I feel like I'm less nervous than I was for the first time. Yeah. You know, like, it's kind of like one of those things you just got to do. It's like, nobody wants to do certain things like surgeries and this. And it's like, when you overcome them and years down the road, you look back and you're like, why was I so worried about stuff like that? So I'm leaving it at that. I think she'll be fine. And we don't have to do all the blood tests and weird things. To yeah, her. it'll be like so much easier time. going That'll back. That'll be the one thing that's easier is going back. That's the plan. I'm sure everybody's like. And you guys, we're moving next week. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Our goal is definitely um, right now the beginning of October. So we've got a couple months, um, but it is definitely coming up fast and we're trying to get everything prepared. Um, the reason, some of the reason that we didn't want to mention this before is that I knew that I would have to go in depth about what, why we're doing it. Um, also, I wanted to let um, my job know beforehand. I didn't want them to learn that I was leaving through, because um, everybody at work watches our videos. <laughs> so I didn't want them to be like, wow, why didn't you tell me? I definitely wanted to give them a lot of time um, to find somebody new and do stuff like that. Scout thought that news was pretty boring and she fell asleep. Well, <laughs> Scout can go to her room. <laughs> All right, so. Um, like Josh said, definitely let us know if you have questions and we can answer them. I hope you guys are excited for this new journey. I'm really hoping that we don't lose like half of our subscribers. Don't unsubscribe. Follow us on this next chapter. We are going to eat a very late dinner because I didn't cook anything. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Give it a thumbs up. Please don't give it a thumbs down. Please, please. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Scout is eating in the bookstore. Josh is looking for a book. And she had a little crying fit. Is this better?